Hello, I'm Steve Olson, Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at one of the new features in Inventor 2018.1, more specifically, the iLogic event triggers. One of the pains of iLogic rules previously, or at least event triggers previously, is that they were file specific. There wasn't anything that you could set globally. But in Inventor 2018.1, we now have what I refer to as global event triggers. So let me go ahead and just show you what that looks like. So here on my Manage tab, I'm going to go to Event Triggers. In this dialog box, I then can say, you know, all documents, just parts, just assemblies, drawings, where I can see what's in this file. And if you go to Drawings here, you can see that this Create PDF rule is set up and it's set on all drawings. If I just right click on this, I can remove it just so I can show you how to set one up. So you can see here, I, again, I'll stay on this drawings tab. I'll expand out this external iLogic rules. I'll just take create PDF and drag, drag it and drop it on after save document. So now anytime I save a drawing file, iLogic will then run Here, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm going to just maybe move a balloon here real quick so it sees that I'm making a change to the file. Now, if I save this, so now I'm going to jump to the folder. Basically, what I have this rule do is at C PDFs, it copies my folder structure and then creates that file. So let me open up the PDFs folder. See here is C PDFs. It's in a lock assembly folder. I go here and then you can see here is this lock assembly PDF it was just created. So also this works on brand new files. So let me jump back over to Inventor. So I'm going to start a new drawing. So here's a new drawing. I'll create a base view. I have to open up a file. I'll switch over to a part. Maybe I want to detail a particular part from that assembly. create my three or my four views rather so now I'll save this once the views are created I'll save it in the lock assembly folder I'll just let it name it after whatever the parts named So now if we look at the location or that P C PDFs folder, you can see I now have that file created. So that's what's great about this is it will work on pretty much any file uh, that I create, you know, even brand new ones that wouldn't even have the event trigger set yet. It is able to understand that and kind of work with that moving forward. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.